three years ago, uh, before I was even in ministry, I had just came back from college. It was the pandemic had just taken place. Uh, they told all of us to come off campus and come on back home. And uh, I came home and I was in a very, very dark place, admittedly. Um, I was suffering from depression and I was really deep in my sins and I couldn't see the light. Mind you, I was saved. I've been saved since I was eight years old, but in that moment, I just couldn't see a way out. I was depressed, I was stuck in my sins, I was contemplating even suicide. Uh, and then one night, late 2020, as I went to sleep, I had a dream. And in the dream, I was sitting down in some place. Uh, and the way I was sitting, the door was actually behind me, so I wasn't facing the door. Uh, but I heard somebody walk through the door. And as I heard their footsteps approaching me, a very familiar peace settled in the place. I, I knew this feeling. And the person who had walked through the door, they sat next to me, and we were both facing this way, so we weren't looking at each other. And after a pause, he asked me, I would say not just the most important question of my life, but the most important question in all of history, all of existence. The question he asked me, he said, do you know who I am? And I paused. <laughs> and I said, uh, do I know who you are? I said, I've known you my whole life. Uh, even in my lowest moments, when I had nobody, I knew you. I said, when I be in church, worshiping, I would feel you. Of course I know who you are. And I said, you're God. And I turned, and I faced him as he turned and faced me. And in that moment, I became a witness of the resurrected Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, man. And first thing he said, he said my name. He acknowledged me. So not only did I know him, but he knew me. Amen. <laughs> And then he gave me a hug and he told me that he loved me. And we had a conversation. <laughs> um, now, the reason I tell my testimony is for two reasons. One, a practical reason, and another also a practical reason. Um, the first reason is from what I could witness with my own eyes, I can confidently declare to the whole world, Jesus is real. Jesus has risen from the dead. Jesus is God. And Jesus is the hope of this world. Amen. The second reason is um, because even as I tell my testimony here, I can still see his eyes, beautiful eyes, staring back at me in his smile. When he looked at me, I could tell he didn't look at my sins. He didn't look at me. He didn't look at my past. He didn't look at the depression I was dealing with. He wasn't, he wasn't looking at the suicidal thoughts. He didn't look at my flaws. He wasn't looking at my mistakes. Even though I could tell he was looking straight through me. I sat back and I contemplated the possibility that maybe he was simply looking at somebody that he loved. Maybe he was even looking at somebody he'd be willing to die for. I tell my testimony to tell others who may be on the fence about giving their life to Jesus Christ. You may feel as if you got to wipe away your past before you can come to him, that you got to beat the addiction, that you got to get yourself right. You got to get yourself, you know, prepared, get yourself clean before you accept Jesus Christ. And my message today is that Jesus has been waiting on you with his arms wide open. And he wants you to come as you are. Jesus didn't come for those that believed that they were spotless. He came for those who understood that they needed to be cleaned. Amen.